Amazing how tough some plants are, eh, folks? So let me just get onto the other side here and show you what we're dealing with. So third week of uh, February here, and we have the Petasites uh, japonicus uh, blooming. Aren't they exotic looking? So these are giant butter burr, and uh, man, they like they like the moisture. They're growing at the base of the swamp cypress. That's a bald cypress growing in this pond, which used to be a lot deeper, but the sediments filled it up. So. Um, yeah, not too, not too shabby to have some cool exotic flowers in winter. Now, you don't want to spread, you don't want to be planting these in your garden if you have really good soil mo with moisture, because they will take over. Here, I really don't care. We're down in the forest, and uh, look at this, they're like a skunk cabbage. These guys are growing right in the water. Let me get over on this side here, I gotta watch where I step, there's palm seedlings everywhere. They're everywhere. But, uh... They're down along the side of the uh, creek here. Creek is down to just light trickle. It's been pretty dry, but uh, there they are. That's the Petasites doing their thing on a winter day. And uh, stay tuned for an update on these things as they get, as they grow, because they grow super fast. They're herbaceous perennial. I will be standing under these things in no time flat. That's how fast they grow. So let's watch the palm seedlings. Look at that. Palm seedlings are flawless growing here in the forest. These are the Swampsonii. After that deep freeze we had in December, you think these guys would be annihilated? No, didn't phase them. Didn't phase them at all. And didn't phase these things either. So there you go, folks. Some pretty cool exotic perennials growing here on Salt Spring Island in February. All right, thanks for watching and happy gardening. Cheers.